Well, if you like an old-time football feel, this is the place for you. We're in South London at Selhurst Park. I'm Derek Ray at the microphone, and joining me for match commentary is Stuart Robson. And looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It's Crystal Palace versus Arsenal. Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield will be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. Well, Wilfried Zaha, often described as a bit of a one-off, a real talent, and no two ways about that, Stuart. What do you anticipate seeing from him today? Well, Derek, we know he's got great pace, whether he's running with the ball or running in behind defenders, and that's what makes him such a threat on the counter-attack, and I'm sure that's going to be the tactics today from his team. This is the team Crystal Palace have picked. Well, it'll be interesting to see how the wingers play today. Will they stay high and wide? Will they come in field and support the centre forward? And how deep will they come out of possession? They're going to be key to this formation. Here are the starters for Arsenal. Aaron Ramsdale as the goalkeeper. Granit Xhaka plays with Thomas Partey in central midfield. And getting the vote of confidence in attack today, Alexandre Lacazette. Well, this game should offer plenty. Arsenal get it going. Lacazette, a very good tackle. Now far from a smooth challenge. Now will the referee produce a card? We're going to see the first yellow card of the game. The referee not standing on ceremony. Well, he's under pressure now. It's a long time to be on a booking. clear I oh, just couldn't keep the ball Lacazette here Marcinelli could take the lead and rattling the post in it goes but it will not stand offside, Stuart. Well, it looked close, didn't it? He certainly thought so. He's making that clear to the linesman now. Thomas. Jacker with it. Well, they must exercise caution standing off as they are. Not an easy one to cut out, really. Zaha. And great use of the ball to keep possession. Klein, the delivery. But at one point on its flight, I wondered if the keeper would have difficulties, but no problems in the end. Bukayo Saka. This might be ideal for the counter.
Good use of the ball, but can they trouble the defence? Offside by a fraction. Kuyase. Good looking pass. Still pushing for the goal that would put them ahead, but not forcing it. Arsenal have given it away. And players waiting in the centre. And a goal kick is the outcome. Thomas Partey. Well, as you can see, Arsenal have had most of the ball, but their attacking players lack tempo, invention and goal. Something they need to rectify quickly if they're going to win this one. And thwarted there following the cross. Kuyase. Wilfred Zaha. Making progress. Electing to cross into the centre. Not really the ideal clearance. Threat over for now, it seems. Granite Jacker. And showing fine vision. Crucial intervention just then amid impending danger. And still danger here. But hang on, the flag is up. And the keeper can breathe a big sigh of relief. Well, the referee has instructed the fourth official to put two minutes on the board. Marcinelli. And Lacazette. Can he finish? And a goal! 1-0 it is, they've been pushing for the opener, and now they have it. Well, let's look at this again. The one and two touch passing is absolutely outstanding to play around the pressure. And the finish is really well taken because he judges the flight of the ball, uses the right technique and then makes such good contact. That's a clever goal. halfway stage in this match well, plenty of positives in the first half where Martin Odegaard was concerned what did you make of his contribution well Derek after a slow start where he was tightly marked he got better and better as the first half went on and he got his reward with that goal I'm looking forward to his second half display So the ball moving again, and work to do for Crystal Palace in this second half. Kuyate. Gallagher. Just cutting off the supply.
Tierney. Martin Odegaard. Well, they must exercise caution standing off as they are. Oh, a goal! And that wasn't part of the plan. A known goal it is, and no wonder his head is slumped. Well, as you can see, it came off him last, and as a result, it will be an own goal. So unfortunate. Jacker. Well, the stats don't lie. Arsenal had most of the possession and as a result have dominated the game. Some of their passing movements have been a joy to watch and I don't think anything's going to change that. Thomas Partey. Martin Odegaard. Fine sequence of passes. 30 minutes left for play. And it's a quality pass. Tierney. An authoritative challenge. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. The referee's letting it go as they keep the ball. Well, he's lost it. Martin Odegaard. High quality defending. Gallagher. Kuyase now. Yes, again, just couldn't seem to maintain possession. Well, let's see if something comes of this. Well, it was close, but offside nonetheless. Well, it's a matter of inches there, but he just went a fraction too early. Well, the referee was of a mind to see whether anything would come of that, but now he's going to hand out the caution. And he was never going to get away with that one. It's really good refereeing. There has been plenty of limbering up from substitutes, and now both sides will make personnel switches. Twenty minutes to go in this one. Martin Odegaard. Partey has lost it. Keys handed in at reception. A pair of car keys and a wallet. If those are your items, please collect them. Given away by Palace. Well, approaching full time, and this is wearing the look of Mission Impossible for the home side, Stuart. Well, I think they've been a bit unlucky today. They certainly haven't been two goals worse than their opponents. But in key moments, they've just been found wanting, particularly defensively. Cross could be useful, attending to his defensive chores. Arsenal's free kick here. Well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. Thomas Martin Odegaard Thomas Partey every pass hitting its target Lacazette Tierney Tierney but nothing comes of it well strong play here And no problems whatsoever for the goalkeeper. Tomiyasu. Thomas. 
Well, you can absolutely sense the frustration growing in the opposition camp. They can't get near the ball. So two minutes to be added on at the end. Granit Xhaka. Now Lacazette. And the referee blows for full time. It has gone awry for Crystal Palace and their supporters. No points for them. Well, Derek, they were certainly off the pace today. Beaten to the ball in too many key areas. They need to refocus now and perform better next time out. Well, a leading and guiding role played by Martin Odegaard. Sensational performance on all levels. Stuart, your assessment of his production? Yeah, it was a very good performance. He scored one and hit the woodwork, but his general play was outstanding as well today. Very impressive. 